Recently, I've been thinking a little bit about emotional states and kind of your your disposition when you're painting and what impact that could have or, or does it have on art? Kind of what that emotional state might do to the art and, and what you produce. I, I would guess that that probably does have some sort of impact. One of the things that made me think about this is the painting that I have on screen right now, which is the first one that I did in 2024. This is my first painting of the year. I was kind of in a weird emotional state. Uh, I wouldn't call it apathy necessarily, but a very relaxed and unconcerned painting state of mind, which probably is kind of uncommon. Usually when I'm painting, I'm trying. I, I want to create something that's nice and good that I'm proud of. But with this one, I wasn't really in the mood to to push myself too hard or to, I don't know, be gung-ho about it. It was more so I just wanted to paint and I wanted to be casual about it and I didn't want to put any pressure or preconceived notions on the painting. I kind of approached it from a perspective of, you know what, if I don't like this, I'm just going to bail on it. Kind of a ready to abandon ship state of mind with painting, which again, is not the usual state of mind for me. Usually, I have a little more concern about what I'm doing, but this one, not so, not the same. It was, a, it was a very different vibe to the painting. So I feel like this allowed me to be looser than I normally am. Kind of, I guess you could say, get crazy a little bit. I, I mentioned Bob Ross a lot because I've always loved the joy of painting and it actually kind of inspired me to try painting for the first time. But one of the sayings that Bob Ross said a lot is he would he would do these little bravery tests where he would create this beautiful scene and then he would just plow a tree trunk right through the middle of it. Bravery test, he would say, let's get crazy. Let's get a little crazy here. And I feel like that is what I was doing here. I. I I kept hearing that in my mind. Let's get a little crazy. Let's get crazy here. Uh, just doing things without worrying about what they look like or worrying about the consequences. Uh, just throwing on, I didn't have any plan for the background. I just threw on some blue, threw on some, some yellow ochre. I just felt like doing that. And then I felt like including some purple in here too. Uh, it seemed like a, a good thing to do. Um, it, it just... The mood struck me, so I did it. A little bravery test. Throw some purple on the on the on the scene. So getting crazy is I would say not something that I usually do for for paintings. Just because I don't I, probably one of the biggest reasons is I don't have the experience to get crazy. I kind of have to be controlled and and put a lot of effort in. I think probably really experienced artists can get crazy more. So uh, maybe that's something I'll be able to do more as I gain experience, which is kind of nice. So it was kind of fun to get crazy and plow a tree right through the middle of my painting, in a sense, with some of the colors and some of the choices. Um, not a whole lot of overanalyzing what was there. So it was kind of fun. So anyways, first painting of 2024, here it is. Thank you for watching this. I hope to see you next time.